Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So in this video related to neural network, we will discuss about the concept of learning and uh, the various types of learning processes that uh, are used in neural networks. In the previous video we discussed about uh, the important terms and parameters associated with neural networks and other related things. So the learning process, it is the most important part of uh, the neural network. Okay, so we know that we have already discussed this, that the three main objectives or three main tasks of a neural network is learning which is also called as training uh, the next step is generalization and the third step is application so the learning part okay or the training as it is called the uh, training of the neural network so what is this learning so the learning process is uh, just like when we are uh, exposed or when we are thrown into a new situation a new environment where everything is new first of all we struggle to uh, adapt ourselves to adjust ourselves to the new uh, environment the new surroundings for example when we move to a new city or when we move uh, abroad to a foreign country we Everything is new for us, okay? The culture, the language, uh, the surroundings, the food, uh, the places, everything is new for us. But slowly and gradually, when we stay there for a few days or a few weeks or a few months, we adapt ourselves, we adjust ourselves to the new surroundings. Similar to that, in learning, the neural network is continuously fed with data with information and most of the time the information is new it is different from the previous data so the neural network continuously has to adapt and adjust itself to the new data the new stimulus okay and uh, it has to make certain adjustments okay which can be in the form of change in the synaptic weights. We have already discussed about weights, change in the bias or a change in the network architecture. So it has to make these adjustments in order to generate the output which is required from the neural network. So this is the concept of learning. New data is given to the neural network. The neural network has to acquaint itself to adjust itself to the new data and has to figure out how it can give the required output with the data which is being given to it and that it has to do by making changes in its weights the synaptic weights bias or in the network architecture so this is what learning is so there are two types of learning means two ways in which the neural network implements uh, the learning process first is as i said is involved is, is is updating or changing the the synaptic weights the connecting weights we know that the two neurons are connected by a link a connecting link and each link has a weight associated with it so that is called as parameter learning and the other one is uh, focused on changing the whole network architecture the way in which the various neurons are connected with each other so these are the two types of learning so the first one is a bit simple but this one is uh, a bit complicated but because it involves change in the whole network architecture but here just we have to change the uh, weights associated with the uh, connecting links okay so these are the two ways in which the learning process can be implemented now what are the various types of learning process? How the network learns? Okay. So there are three types of learning processes. First one is called as supervised learning. Second one is called as unsupervised learning. 
and the third one is called as reinforcement learning okay so in this video we are going to discuss about the supervised learning okay so the supervised learning is similar in nature to the way we learn at school okay from a teacher the teacher student uh, learning process teaching and learning process is same as the supervised learning the underlying principle is the same we know that uh, a teacher teaches us okay the student learns the various things new things and concepts related to various subjects from the teacher and uh, then he carries out the tasks which are given by the teacher the teacher then provides the feedback his or her suggestions okay corrections he makes he or she makes corrections in the student how to do things where uh, the student has made the mistake and how he, uh, he or she can uh, rectify that so the student gets feedback and suggestion from the teacher at each and every stage of the learning process the he or she then accepts the feedback and tries to uh, rectify his or her mistakes to give the result which the teacher expects so the supervised learning in neural network is similar in nature to that so here is the block diagram of the supervised learning of the neural network okay so here we have the whole neural network system which consists of the nodes the neurons the artificial neurons the synaptic weights bias everything associated with it the input nodes hidden nodes output nodes all that to this neural network we provide an input an input signal okay now depending on the various factors associated with the neural network it produces a certain output but how can we say that this output is the correct one or the one which we want what decides that so that is decided by the desired output signal it is the output which we want and this is the output which we get from the neural network this is the output we want this is the output we get okay so these two outputs the output which we get from the neural network and the output which we want the target these are compared in the error signal generator the error signal generator this block compares the desired output and the actual uh, actual output signals and produces an error signal which is the difference between these two signals d minus y okay the actual output is subtracted from the desired output so this error signal is just like the feedback or suggestion from the teacher so here the error signal generator acts as the teacher the neural network is the student the error signal generator uh, instructs the neural network so that this is the, uh, the 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 error that you are uh, generating in your output you want you have to rectify this so this is the feedback which the the signal generator the error signal generator gives the neural network and on receiving this feedback the neural network has to adjust its weights bias the network architecture whatever it has to change and it has to produce the output which is more or less almost equal to the desired output it has to uh, it has to uh, produce the actual output equal to the desired output close to the desired output so this is what the supervised learning is okay so the neural network is the student the error signal generator is the teacher okay so this is a continuous process it has it takes in many steps first input signal is applied then the neural network produces a certain output then it is compared with the desired output there will be an error then again on receiving the error signal the neural network makes some changes then also it produces an output again it is not equal to the desired output it does not uh, happen in the first or second step it takes many steps uh, then finally the actual output uh, is uh, goes close to the desired output okay so this is how 
the the whole uh, whole process it takes place so this is the supervised learning okay the supervised learning in neural network so the remaining unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning we'll discuss in a separate video so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering and other uh, things related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much